to a health alert for parents. Local scientists say they've found a link between exposure to lead and an increase in ADHD symptoms. OHSU researchers say it only takes a small amount of lead to increase the risk. We're talking about a level that is still considered in the safe range. Our Lisa Balick is going beyond the headlines to find out now what this means for you and what it means for kids, Lisa. Yeah, lead poisoning is still a very serious problem in our area and around the country. Even though lead-based paint was banned for home use in 1978, it's still out there in homes built before then. And I found out Multnomah County finds up to 100 kids a year who are victims of lead poisoning. So, I'm going to create like a little bed. Lead testing is underway today in Portland. Multnomah County provides testing at some of its health clinics to check lead levels in those most at risk. Children under age 6, as well as pregnant and nursing women. I found out lead poisoning is one of the top threats to kids in homes. It's crawling on floors and getting dust on fingers and hands and putting those hands in the mouth because kids love to stick their hands in their mouth or it's dust getting onto toys and putting the toys in the mouth. Lead poisoning may not cause immediate symptoms, but it can cause permanent brain damage, especially in young children, as their brains are rapidly developing. But it's not just preschoolers who are at risk, so are older kids and adults who can inhale lead dust when there's remodeling underway. Lead-based paint in old housing, technically pre-1978 housing, although we tend to find that pre-1950 housing is the real, you know, bugaboo. You can test for lead, and there are county programs that can help you do this. There's also a concern about lead found in drinking water. Sample testing is also offered through Multnomah County if you're a Portland Water Bureau customer. Besides replacing pipes, I found out there are also other ways you can avoid lead in your home. You come back home after eight hours at work, you turn your water on, that first bit of water that you pull out of your tap is likely to be the water that's most high in lead if there is a lead problem in your water lines. If you let your water run for about 30 seconds to a minute, preferably cold, the... Now, some things that you need to know is that this has always been suspected a link between lead and ADHD. This is a, st a study that actually they say proves that there is, is a definitive okay. link. Now, some states require blood testing for lead. I checked and in, in as far as Oregon and Washington to go, there are no requirements, but you can ask to have your child tested for lead at your pediatrician's office. Well, what would be a good age then to do that? The recommendation is at age one and again at age two. Again, oh. keep in mind, this is when the brain is rapidly developing and the kids are putting everything, everything into their in mouth. their mouth. Exactly. And that test you showed for the lead paint, I saw that on a DIY um, show I was watching, how easy it is. You just buy them at the, at the hardware store. Exactly. You just rub it on your wall and if it turns red, then you know you have lead in there. If it's yellow, then you're good to go. Exactly. Or Very you can easy. take a paint chip, you know, sample from your paint, you know, on the wall somewhere where it's, you know, not exposed, you know, to children and have that tested as well. Okay. Good to right. know. You Thank bet. you, Lisa.